Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the New Balance Teddy Santis Made in USA 990V2 in the light gray and brown colorway. So this is one of the 990V2s from Teddy Santis' pack of 16 Made in USA 990 colorways. And I gotta say, this colorway is really fire. Shout out to Alex Huang from the NB Heads Discord server for selling me his pair. Um, I'm really excited to get my hands on an early pair of the Teddy 16, and I'm excited to get the rest of the pack. So as usual, I'll be doing a full overview of the shoe, as well as an on-feet look, as well as my thoughts and opinions on sizing, comfort, technology, design and quality of the shoe. Starting with the box, the shoes come in a cream white and red New Balance Main USA box with special branding all around the box. It's a very nice uh, change of pace in the New Balance Main USA line and uh, it has a cool message on the underside of the box as well as uh, so a nice change in the paper. It has New Balance branding in a kind of like light yellow uh, cream white color. Starting with the toe box of the shoe, the mudguard of the shoe is made out of some really hairy gray suede, and the middle of the toe box is made out of an olive green mesh, and surrounding the middle area of the toe box are panels of darker gray suede, and at the top of the toe box is a small panel of 3M reflective material. Moving towards the side of the shoe, you get another bigger panel of hairy gray suede with the New Balance N logo in the middle in a reflective 3M material on top of a white leather panel. And the lace eyelets of the shoes are also made out of that hairy gray suede. Moving towards the back of the shoe, you get more panels of hairy gray suede, more panels of olive green mesh. Uh, the top lace eyelets are made out of a cream white plastic, and you get the start of a big panel of light brown suede. Moving towards the back of the shoe, at the bottom you get a gray TPU heel clip, as well as the continuation of that light brown suede with a cutout with USA branding embroidered in black on top of a panel of 3M reflective material and at the very top of the heel you get another panel of light brown suede. The shoes come with a set of cream off-white laces as well as a set of flat white laces. As you can see I opted for the cream off-white laces because I felt like it fit the shoe better. Those laces weave on top of a tongue that's mostly made out of that olive green mesh and at the top of the tongue you get a big panel of gray suede with New Balance 990 Made in USA branding embroidered on in white. The back side of the tongue and the ankle area of the shoe are lined in a white textile material. The insoles of the shoes are a standard foam insole with a tan textile upper and at the heel area of the insole, you get special New Balance Boston branding printed on in black. The shoe comes with the standard 990V2 midsole with a full length absorb midsole, and the absorb foam is in a combination of white and off-white colors. The back of the shoe also has some more exposed absorb in gray. And finally, moving on towards the outsole of the shoe, the shoes come with the standard 990V2 outsoles in black and olive rubbers. So now that the overview of the shoe's out of the way, I'll lace these up and I'll show you how they look on feet. So as for sizing, I managed to cop these in my true size 9.5, but uh, Guy and Kicks in his review suggested to go down half a size because the toe box was slightly bigger than usual 990 V2s. I usually go true to size in my 990 V2s, whereas in my V3, V4, and V5s, I go down half a size because they have bigger toe boxes compared to the V2. Um, but this V2, I think I'll have to agree with Guy and Kicks, and uh, the toe box does feel a bit bigger, and I feel like I could have went down half a size to a size 9, and it would have fit me well in a secure, snug way. But as I always say, if you have the chance to try these on before you buy them, I definitely recommend you do that, since everyone's feet are different. And despite these being a 990 shoe, they're most likely not going to come in wider or narrower widths. As for comfort, this TD2 pair from the Teddy Santis 16, uh, it 
feels like every other 990 V2 and it is a pretty comfortable shoe. That full length absorbed midsole gives you a good combination of cushioning as well as support and stability and it's great for all day comfort. It's not as comfortable as the 990 V3, V4, and V5 but it is a very comfortable lifestyle shoe in my opinion. As for quality, this being a made in USA shoe as well as a part of the Teddy Santis 16, my expectations were really high and they were definitely met. The hairy suede used on this shoe was out of this world and it's crazy to think that this is supposed to be considered a GR. I mean, I guess in a way it's kind of a collab with Teddy Santis but not ALD, but uh, it's considered a GR and the suede were amazing. Um, it's mostly suede uh, other than the olive green mesh which was also great. Um, all the suede used on this shoe were very buttery to the feel and there's nice back strokes whenever you stroke the suede and uh, the main gray hairy suede as I said is excellent. And as for a craftsmanship perspective, I had absolutely no problems on my end whatsoever. Overall, I'm really satisfied with my first pickup from the Teddy 16 pack. Uh, this TD2 colorway of the 990 V2 from Teddy Santis is is amazing. I feel like um, it's a nice elevated take on a classic colorway in the gray 990 V2. Uh, the addition of the light brown and the olive green meshes was excellent. The hairy suede texture and the cream um, hits in the laces and the midsole were all phenomenal. And I'm really excited to hunt down the other 15 pairs of the pack. So that's gonna do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Uh, check out the Intelligent site for more New Balance content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.